Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And with the Spanish league season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Real Madrid facing Getafe. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. It's had absolutely everything. Drama at both ends of the table spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment too the players need to finish the season off strongly we're looking forward to a great game here atmosphere is fantastic a really exciting game and prospects as real madrid get it underway gabriel jesus to be a it's got to be goalkeeper doing his job getting the touch corner for Real Madrid well that was the chance to take the lead and the manager's frustration is there for all to see he's driven in the corner punching it clear no nonsense clearance Getting forward. Teammates in the middle. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. Well, here's how the table looks. And last time out, they did make absolutely certain of their presence in the Europa League next season league. Oh, it's brilliant as well as a player. You always look at European qualification of any sort. And the fans do as well. It's an exciting time. Breaks up the season. You had a little break in midweek. Get your passport out. Off you go. Travelling around Europe. And over comes the corner. What a punch. Happy the keeper. Vinicius Jr. It's with John Guidetti. Failed to keep hold of it. Space afforded him. Others to play it to. And crossed in there. And a half-baked clearance. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. News of a goal in the Betis match. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Real Betis. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And it's Gabriel Jesus in possession to give them the lead, maybe. Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. Firing it into the area. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Ceballos. Tremendous block. Played into the centre of the box. Thumps clear. But I believe there's been a goal in the Barcelona match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Barcelona. It was well stopped. Well, positioning is everything for a goalkeeper. And he was in a good position then. He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far. Gabriel Jesus. Well, he's added goals to his wizardry. Will he get another goal today? A brace in his last match. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Max. A 
And Jovic now. Lucas Vasquez moving forward effectively. He takes A. The first goal of the match, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure has taken its toll. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training. First time, bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it. Technique, brilliant. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. So, underway again with Real Madrid in front. Straight down the throat of the opposition. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position? Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Well, let us point you in the direction of a very significant occasion, the Europa League final. Live coverage coming your way right here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid facing Arsenal. Well, the atmosphere will be absolutely jumping for that one, Derek. The Europa League final, it's a massive occasion. I'm really looking forward to that one, Derek. Should be a belter. Wonderful piece of tackling, Virgil van Dijk. Lucas Vasquez. Slipshot passing. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Ennis Pardi. Ceballos. Ceballos! And the goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. A chance to revisit the goal. Going their way, 2-0. There's been a goal in the Atletico game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's the second goal for Atletico Madrid. 32 minutes played, 2-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Well, Real Madrid possession stats are brilliant. A glorious chance. Still a chance. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, his all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. It's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they could add. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Gabriel Jesus now. Gabriel Jesus. Ennis Bardi. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. The free kick, and the keeper took it cleanly.
Nacho Fernandez. Danny Ceballos is with Vinicius Junior. Gabriel Jesus now. Can they put it away? Delivered into the area here. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just not able to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here's the replay. Here's the value of crosses. And when they come in like this, almost teed up on a plate, he swings his boot and it catches it absolutely perfect. What a finish. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Alan and Yom with it. Portillo. Cutting infield here. No nonsense clearance. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Clattered away. He takes aim. Well, body in the way. Corner kick played over. And he's gone and scored for Real Madrid. Well, that's what Real Madrid do. They put you under pressure and you normally crumble. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Lee. Well, Derek, is what I used to call a pest. Never lets up, always asking questions of you as a defender. Questions you don't normally have the answer to. That's why he gets so many goals. And it's... The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Well, he's outplayed and outthought him. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Markel Bergara. Just veered into an offside position this time. It's with Danny Ceballos. It's with Vinicius Junior. Luka Jovic. Gliding through the gears. Is this the moment? And offside is the decision. It must have been very closely. Well, yeah, the linesman's got the best view of them all. I think he got that right. And let's go to Alan McAnally because a goal has been scored in the Betis game. Alan. It's a third goal for Real Betis. 52 minutes played. 3-0. Many thanks, Alan. 
and they will be awarded a free kick for that and a substitution in the offing well clattered away Arambari spot on with that tackle And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Crossing possibilities. Vinicius Jr. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. There's been a goal in the Barcelona match. Alan McAnally has details. It's a third goal for Barcelona. It's been scored by Alessandro Florenzi. It took two posts for this to go in. A good strike came off the inside of the first post, rolled a crop. Oh, a lovely ball. An attack full of promise. Apologies to our viewers for cutting Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, Barcelona did score in that match. And their lead stands at 3 1. It's with John Guidetti. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. The referee has dished out a yellow card here. Well, it's not malicious, it's just clumsy. Delivered into the box. It comes to nothing. Moving forward effectively. Has a go. Oh, it's off the post. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. giving him a moment's peace splendid tackle and a throw in coming up Mauro Arambari couldn't keep the ball and a goal I'm hearing at the Metropolitano Alan McAnally can tell us a lot more it's another goal for Atletico Madrid firing it towards goal not too fussy in clearing his lines I think everyone knew that was foul play and the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick. Well, apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in that fashion. To confirm, Atletico have scored in that game and they are very much in the driving seat, winning 4-0. Lucas Vasquez. Luka Jovic. Vinicius Jr. And he takes it on and putting his body on the line. Couldn't keep it. They're advancing here, Real Madrid. Can they take advantage of the position they're in? Clears his lines. Massa. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Knows his defensive responsibilities. Nacho Fernandez. They have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. He 
He's going forward well here. And the cross is very much on. And the flag has gone up here. Offside the decision. Junior, just 10 minutes to go. He's got space. Gabriel Jesus, Hazard, and it's got, might be a chance here. And he's fired it against the post, clattered away. It's with Danny Ceballos, Vinicius Junior. And news of a goal at the Estadio Municipal de Ipurua. Aaron McInerney with the details. It's a third goal for the visitors. Eight minutes remain. 3-0. Thank you, Aaron McInerney. And that's an important intervention. Vinicius Junior moving into the advanced position. And it might be fine goalkeeping to push that away. Real Madrid get the throw in. Azar on the ball. Gabriel Jesus. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from here. He's taking some stick. Well, it petered out. And now Suso. Textbook defending inside the box. One minute remaining. Gabriel Jesus now. Suso. Joy for the Merengues. Real Madrid have scored. Well, they pushed and pushed. They tested and tested and they got their reward. Well, as we can see, the keeper's done his best, but there's nothing he can do from there. He's not going to miss that one. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And now it is truly final. The match is over. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively, well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10. Moving forward effectively.